Understanding idioms. Beat one's meat. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of a specific idiom, beat one's meat. This phrase can be a bit tricky and is often considered informal or vulgar. So, let's dive in and understand it better, ensuring you can use it appropriately or understand it when encountered. Beat one's meat is an idiomatic expression that is primarily used in a vulgar context. It's a slang term that refers to masturbation. Due to its crude and informal nature, it's important to understand that this phrase is not suitable for formal or professional conversations. It's often found in casual, adult conversations and is typically used among friends in a very informal setting. While the exact origin of beat one's meat is unclear, it's believed to have emerged in the mid-20th century. The phrase uses beat as a slang verb, which in this context means to stroke or rub repetitively. The term meat is a slang reference to male genitalia. Over the years, the phrase has been used in various movies, songs, and TV shows, usually for comedic or shock value. It's crucial to understand the cultural context of this phrase. Beat one's meat is considered very informal and often offensive. It's not a phrase that should be used in everyday conversation, especially with people who are not close friends. As a learner of English, it's important to be able to recognize such phrases, understand their meanings, but also to know the appropriate context for their usage. In formal or polite conversations, if the need arises to discuss the topic of masturbation, it's advisable to use clinical or straightforward language. For example, saying, masturbate, or self-stimulation, is more appropriate in a formal or educational setting. We hope this video has been informative and has helped you understand the phrase, beat one's meat. Remember, Learning a language also involves understanding the cultural and social nuances of its idioms and slang. Stay tuned for more insights into English language learning, and don't forget to practice respectful and appropriate language use in all settings. Thank you for watching.